open to new project. I'm going to go to upload. I already uploaded the pot of gold SVG file. So I'm going to add that to the canvas. I've sized this so that you can make two of these out of eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate this so that that's going to work. So we're going to turn this 90 degrees. We're going to make another copy and we're going to turn it negative 90 degrees so that they're opposite because they do need to be positioned like this to cut from one eight and a half by 11 piece, the bigger pieces. Then I'm going to select both and I'm going to center align. Okay. So that's going to get us started. Now I'm going to go to each one and I'm going to ungroup so we can access all the different layers and we can divide them by color and create our different mats that need to cut with our cardstock. So first I'm going to grab the black and move them over here. You can do it this way. If you have a long skinny piece of paper, you can turn them depending on what size paper. And I'm going to choose attach. And then I'm just going to hide it while I gather the others. And I'm going to grab my green pieces. Now on an eight and a half by 11, if you're making a lot of these, you can get six different shamrocks on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but we're just going to do two, attach and hide. Now the gold, these circles are extra that you're going to put on at the end, maybe with, I'm going to do them with foam dots to give a little dimension. You can use them. You can skip them. You can do more. I just did three. You can, like I said, do whatever you want and however many you want. And then these two pieces are going to be behind the pot and they're going to be layered so that they go over and under the shamrock for a little bit more visual interest. So you definitely need those. And then just lay them out however will work if you have any pieces of scrap yellow. This would be really pretty in glitter as well. I'm going to show you an example. And then these are the same outside shape, but it's two different layers. So this one has a big circle, which is going to go over top of the candy dome and hide the glue and kind of put this together. And we're going to build the whole design onto this. So I call this the base. I'm going to cut that out of white. So we're going to attach those. And then these are the back. This will be the very back of the design. And this is where the people would grab this tab and just pull. So it kind of, the paper will tear along these lines and you can access your candy. So we have everything grouped by color and attached. Oops. And it doesn't really matter where it is. For Cricut on your screen, it can be overlapping, doesn't matter. Then you're going to choose make it. Then you're going to go for each mat and choose your material size. So I'm just going to choose eight and a half by 11 for all of them because that is my goal. It'll show you what sizes you can use. Nope, wrong one, eight and a half by 11. It's like this, you could, if you had a six by six piece, we're just going to put eight and a half by 11 half by 11. So then you're going to click continue. You're going to choose your material type and you're going to cut all five of these colors. And now let's uh, look at how to put this together. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble this pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day. This one I did just with regular cardstock. One of the most important things I think is to find gold candy. This one has Hershey Kisses with almonds that come in a gold foil. But for this project, we're going to use Rolos, also gold, very, really look like coins to me. And I'm going to be using glitter for the gold for the paper. So here's all our supplies, the papers that we cut out. Um, you can use glue, you can use tape runner, any kind of adhesive that you want. I'm gonna use some foam dots to add a little bit of dimension and a glue stick. So let's get started. These are the two base layers. This is the back. They're going to grab that to open it. That's how that looks on the back. So we're going to put that aside and we're going to build our pot of gold on the base first. This is the circle that will go around the candy dome. So what I'm going to do is you're going to line up this center circle and the base is designed to have a little bit of white going all the way around the design so that you know how to lay it out. 
I like to use tacky glue and you want to use it really sparingly, but I feel like it just sticks a little bit better than my dot adhesive, but I do use both. Now you don't want to put it across the very top because we're going to tuck a couple things in there. So I'm going to put that down, making sure I line up the center and just press that down. And I just have it on this um, heating pressing mat so that you can see the white because you can't see it on my table. Then the next thing, and I'm going to put this here just for reference. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this little bit of gold, tuck it under there. I'm going to try the adhesive dot runner. It's definitely fast. And we're just going to squeeze it a teeny bit under the lip of the pot. Next comes the shamrock, which you're gonna line up like that and it's gonna overlap that little bit of gold. It's those little things that gives these projects a little bit more dimension and interest. Put that down. Now this bunch of cash is going to go over top of the shamrock and the other. And we're gonna tuck it under the pot a teeny bit. Gosh, look how cute. I love the glitter. I would have done a glitter shamrock too, but I didn't have any. Um, I didn't have any green glitter. So I'm gonna get this. You're only gonna do the flat part, and now we're going to put the candy dome. If you wanted to put a message or anything, you could write it on there now before you get it all together. It's a lot harder to write on this once it's wobbly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 3.15 inch slash 80 millimeter fillable ornament and you just need a half for each one of these. We're going to put the candy in it, then put the paper on top and then flip it. That is much easier than trying to flip it with the candy and not have the candy fall out. Put that down, but before, and we're going to turn on the hot glue gun. Now, before you glue this down, we need to make sure it's in the perfect spot. So where I have it, you'll see it's not in the perfect spot because these papers are not lining up. These are the exact same size. So you're going to line up the outer edges of this top that we just put together with the bottom. Then you're gonna put your finger on the dome, lift that off, don't move the dome. And then you're just gonna run a bead of hot glue all the way around the edge. You're gonna make sure that the glue is going on the paper and touching the plastic. It's kind of like caulking in the bathroom. That's gonna seal this and it's gonna hold it together nicely. All right, now we're just gonna glue that on top. I am going to use glue for this one. But again, you don't wanna make it too thick or it's going to make the paper a little bit wet and warp. So you just kind of do it really thin, smear it all over. And you're gonna place that down, lining up the outer edges. And then I always start pressing down farthest away from this candy dome because there is a little bit of, there's gonna be a little bit of bubble in this paper because it's going over top of the glue and the edge of the candy dome. So it doesn't lay perfectly flat once you have that candy in there. And then I usually just work my fingers around the outside to make sure that gets nice and sealed. And then these are optional. It looks super cute like this, but I think this just adds a little bit to it. And you could even do more, like if you had little different size circle, hole, circle punches, you could do different sizes. You could create different size circles to cut with your cutting machine, but I just cut a bunch of these. There are, there's three in the design, but you can obviously just copy and make extras, which I did because I have six. It's basically what I could fit on the little piece of glitter paper that I had so that I wouldn't waste it. And now I'm just going to put these around 
to make it look like there's even more gold. Could even put some on the bottom. There's no reason it can't go off the edge a little bit. And there we go. Another pot of gold, this one with Rolos and glitter, which gives a little bit of a different look, but both very fun and both made with the same exact design.